Todja. Anyway, shout out Prince Harry. We are very happy and proud for you. Yes. Good stuff. Yeah. I'm glad you can Don't finally know. live a quiet life out of the media spotlight, just just he, like you wanted. He, he finally found the peace and uh, <laughs> obscurity he was looking for. Yeah, exactly. It's Tucker. With the, and now finally, only him and his wife will talk about his his. T- what would we call his penis? You know, Wiener. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I'm it so seems like It seems like all the words for penis are taken up by some other concept. Todger. Spotted dick. Todger. It? Todger. It was Todger. 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 And now finally, my wife and me will be the only ones to talk about my Todger. Todger? <laughs> While sucking a smoker? You know if Queen Elizabeth heard him say Todger, she slapped the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. Rightfully so. <laughs> I heard she was super violent. She's, Queen Elizabeth? I think she was abusive <laughs> verbally and physically. Mm-hmm. What is she going to sue me? You can't sue one and you're dead. If you're dead, you cannot be sued for defamation. And I'm just going to say right here, she was a pedo. Uh, their their family can sue, can't they? I'm or just kidding. No, they cannot. They what about cannot. the state? You cannot defame a dead person. Dead dinosaurs. Uh, <laughs> in, in American law. What are they going to sue me in England? Yeah. What the fuck are they going to do to me there? <laughs> Off with your head. I'm saying fuck the crown, bitch. <laughs> no, but actually you can't defame a dead person. I'm almost certain about that. But she's not a pedo. <laughs> Yo, wait, you're, I made that up. At least you're right almost now. certain. You were very certain well, a moment ago. That. I don't think Under you common <laughs> law and according to the definition, deceased individuals cannot be defamed. You see? Here. He's dead. No. No. Which, out of the way, is kind of crazy, right? Because you can definitely defame a dead person. <laughs> <laughs> like, and their family has to live with the consequence of it. Right. Right. Some Next states Tucker. do permit uh, slander to be brought on behalf of the estate of the deceased Yeah, because person. with the Michael Jackson, for example, those people were suing the Michael Jackson estate. I don't Tucker. Think right. And Not for fam- defamation. But they, they were no, suing... No, but the family is countersuing, I think. Oh. Is that still going through court? I think it was dropped. The Jacksons dropped it. No, the the countersuit. the The original case got thrown out by the judge. Hmm. Mm. You want to talk about it? Because too much time had passed, not because he's innocent. Because one of the guys was his lead witness, and his initial uh, allegations was part of it. And then they tried to open it back up, and I think after the documentary, they opened it back up at one point, but it got tossed again. Wait, are you saying it got tossed? Why? Well, the first time I believe is because one of the guys in the documentary, one of the accusers, Which was. One? Uh, Wade, oh, okay, was uh, his lead witness in his 2005 case for Michael Jackson in defense of him. So, and he like sweared under oath. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, but so he would be. Was he a kid? When perjuring himself? No, he was an adult. Yeah, I think so. But I think it was thrown out because of the time limit. Because there's a statute of limitation on diddling. Hey! Apparently, is there a statute of limitation on diddling? <laughs> Shouldn't be. Anyway, shout out to the queen who's fucking in a box. 